Hey, I'm Arcee and this is the episode 7 about creating a multiplayer game with Node.js. If you haven't watched the last episode, then I would highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, what I'm planning to do is to allow the player to shoot bullets in a specific um, direction. Okay, so right now the bullets are created in the bullet update loop. So this is static, so this is called once every frame. So instead of being random, we are gonna make it in the player update loop over here. So now for every player in the game, we will create a bullet. Now it would make a little bit more sense if the bullet created would spawn on top of the player. I'm gonna make it so the X and the Y of the bullet is the same than the player. And just to make it a bit more convenient, um, we're gonna create a shoot bullet equal function. I'm gonna take this part and put it there. So it becomes self shoot bullet, angle, angle. There we go. Now the next part, we, what we are gonna do is instead of being a random chance of shooting a bullet, it will shoot a bullet if you're pressing um, the left click, for example. And instead of being a random angle, it's gonna shoot at um, the direction of your mouse. Now, obviously from the server, we don't have access to the mouse position and if the, the key is pressed or not, if the left click is pressed or not. So we're gonna do exactly like we did with the pressing right, left, up and down. So we will have a pressing attack that by default will be false. And we will also have a mouse angle that will be zero by default. Now, if we go over here, I actually, well, I'll do that first. So right now, if you remember correctly, when we press a key down, we emit a package with an input ID and a state. When we do a key up, it does the same thing, but with the state false. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, but for the, the mouse. So this is the code we need over here. So when we press mouse down, we set an input ID of attack and the state will be true. And on mouse up over here, we're gonna send state equal false. Uh, right now, we don't really make a distinction between left click and the right click. So right click would also do, um, do that, but it's not really a big deal. And finally for the mouse angle, this is the code. Um, like I'm not really planning to go too much about how to do that kind of stuff because that's I've already covered that in the, in the single player tutorials. But long story short, we extract the X and the Y relative to the middle of the screen. So this makes it relative to the middle. Then we use the at and two to figure out the angle and then we shift the angle. So in the key press, now the server can receive a key press with an input ID attack and a key press with mouse angle. So that's what we are gonna do. So if the state is attack, then pressing attack will be equal to the state. And if it's mouse angle, then the mouse angle will be equal to the state. So once this is done, we actually need to change that over here. So now it becomes, if you are pressing attack, then you shoot a bullet where your mouse is. There we go. Now then we open the console log, we type not app.js, we go to localhost 2000 and there we go. So if I press left click, it's gonna shoot bullets in the direction I'm aiming. So that's pretty neat. Now if I log with another player, there we go, Oops. there we go. So as you can see, you can see like the bullets of other players. Right now there is no collision between bullets and players, so that's what I'm gonna cover now. So in order to implement a collision system, we also need to um, to know who shot the bullet so we don't touch the shooter. So over here, when you create a bullet, you will also need to specify the parent over here. So it will be equal to parent, and a bullet will not be able to touch one of its parent, well, its parent in that case. Um, so here in the update loop over there, what we are gonna do is we're gonna loop through every player in the game. And if there's a collision, now in order to test a collision, what we are gonna do is um, pretty standard. Obviously you can like do more stuff if you want. I I'm just like showing the basics. 
Um, in the, the single player tutorial, I, I go more in depth with the width and the height and, and stuff like that. But in, in that case, I want to keep it simple. So I added a new um, function to the entity, which is called get distance. So you put a point, um, well, anything that has an X and a Y, and it's going to return the distance with a square root. That's pretty standard. Um, so in order for a collision to happen, um, what needs to happen is the distance between you and a player needs to be, let's say, less than 32. So this is R coded, so that's not really good. And very important, the parent of the bullet must not be equal to the ID of the, the player trying to touch. So if it's the case, then I'm gonna set to remove equal through. And in some case, we will need to handle collision. So example, um, HP minus minus, so something like that. Right now we don't have an HP system, but eventually we'll need to implement one. So the logic will go over here. And uh, I just realized that to remove is not even used anywhere. So over here. So if the bullet needs to be removed, then we delete the bullet. So that, that's something I, I forgot to do last time. Else, there we go. So now we actually remove bullets that have the to remove flag on. Okay, so one thing I forgot to add is the parent, so self.id over here. And let's just test how it looks. So we start the server, go to localhost 2000. There we go. So if I shoot the player, it's going to stop the bullets. And there we go. So it's wor working pretty, um, pretty nicely. Now, um, obviously, in this tutorial series, I'm really focusing more on the multiplayer aspect. So I won't really polish the game too much. Um, if you have watched the single player tutorials, then at this point, you should be able to add um, special attacks. So being able to, I don't know, press spacebar or something like that and it shoots tons of bullets. You should also be able to implement images, so adding image with a real map, stuff like that. You could also add, I don't know, um, what's called upgrades. So they would be like little points that you move over it and it's gonna give you a boost or something like that. So it's really easy to customize this. So for example, if I wanted players to be able to shoot multiple bullets at once, could look something like this. So you just do a little loop, minus three, and then something like that. So as simple as this. So this will shoot seven bullets, if I remember correctly, in um, in front of the player. So there we go. So it, it's really easy to, to customize it. So what I'm planning to do in the next um, episode is introduce the concept of signing in. So you will be able to have a username password and eventually I'm going to introduce the concept of a database. So I'm not really going to polish the game too much. Like I said, I'm going to focus on the multiplayer aspects. So thanks a lot for watching and see ya.